then all of a sudden I am smooth like a baby's bottom. Even worse, I'm just smoother than a baby's bottom. I don't know what's smoother than a baby's bottom. It's like butter. It's like just silk. My skin becomes silk. No hair to be seen anywhere. people and welcome back to my channel i am kapano and welcome to how i do things the show where you send me your questions and i will let you know how i would do things now you can use this as advice use it don't use it it's all up to you honey this is just how i would do things so in today's question which i received from instagram if you want to follow me at kapano shimange look for this questionnaire right here answer it and let me know what question you'd like me to answer in the next video and if you haven't subscribed and you've been watching in my videos what's your problem subscribe it's free let me know if this is working out for you maybe shoot me a like a comment let me know down below if there's anything that you would do differently i'd like to know let's get the party going all right so i'm a hairy person i've got, got quite a bit of hair i've got sunburn i'm, I'm, got hair. I'm just born with quite a, i'm even gonna show it off i got hair my you should see my legs when i don't shave guys if there's one thing that I know, it's, it's hairiness. How to deal with the bush, a bush, bush here, sideburns. I mean, if guys are telling you that, yo, I love your sideburns, and you're just like, that's not sexy, but that's me, right? So I, I've, I know a thing or two about being hairy because I deal with it. So I had this question in my DMs and this little lady wanted to know, I'm hairy, please help me. What do I do? I know it can get a little embarrassing and I know sometimes it can be a little scary and off-putting and for some guys, they just like, you hairy girl. This is what I would do. Now, sometimes being hairy is just not cute. Everybody's got their preferences. Some people are fine with being hairy. For me, there's certain things I accept and certain things that I don't accept. And maybe your man may be like, honey, I love you. Shay. <laughs> all right so here's a few things based on my preferences and how i would do things this is how i deal with my very generous bodily hair number one shave regularly and i'm talking about my legs i accept that i'm quite hairy if i don't shave my legs it gets bad so I've come to accept that I am a hairy person. My arms are quite hairy, my legs are hairy, just there's a whole lot of hair on my body. So number one is that you need to accept that you're hairy and shave regularly. I leave the razor to certain parts of my body, my armpits and my legs. If I can get a wax on my armpits, I will, but my legs is a razor thing. I don't think I can wax enough to keep those things straight or keep those things gone. So you want to shave weekly or every two weeks depending on how hairy you are so the first thing that you want to do is accept it honey if you're hairy you're hairy he doesn't have to know if you've got a good routine so shave regularly stop complaining and be like ah, i've got to shave again just shave just do it it ain't gonna kill nobody number two don't shave your pubes don't shave down there this area don't shave it look I'm being your friend. Do not shave your little girl. It will itch so bad. <laughs> it will itch. It will. It will itch. And there's nothing worse than having an itch down there and you're in public. I mean, just imagine this. Just You're just in public and you're just here. Because that, that's what you want to do. That's how badly it will itch. It's not just about the itching, but you'll get ingrowns. You don't want ingrowns. Those aren't cute. They are nasty looking things. And getting rid of those things is a bit difficult, okay? But number one, there is something else that you can use to get rid of ingrowns if you are waxing or if you are using other products and you still get ingrowns. There are a few products that you can put on. It's basically like pube aftershave that you can put on. And I would definitely recommend that if you are going to shave, use Venus. Venus is a really good brand for shaving. So try and use that. But for me, do not shave your pubic hair. It will end badly. Number three for me is trimming. 
trimming works. So I said, do not shave down there, but you can trim. Have yourself those cute little scissors, right? And be very careful about this. You don't want to cut yourself up and trim. If you need your man to help you to trim, do it. But trimming actually works and it keeps you away from having those ingrowns. Trimming actually works. Like I've done it before and I've done it a number of times. Sometimes even when I go for a wax, instead of waxing everywhere, I get certain parts that are trimmed and it looks like a nice little, you know, vagina. And it looks like a nice little vagina brush cut. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense. But basically, if you trim, it looks really neat. So if you can't go get a wax and you can't really get that bikini, you know, down and looking good, then just trim. Take a piece, pair of scissors and just trim nice and lightly. Don't trim too close. Just leave a bit, just a little, like half a centimeter. And trust me, you will look at your girl and be like, hey, I never knew you looked so cute. It's so neat and it works really well. So don't worry about always having it smooth like a baby's bottom. Trimming, trimming's cute. So as you guys, I told you guys, I'm pretty hairy. Strip wax works really well. So brands like Veet, right? They have hair removal and they have strip wax. So strip waxing is basically like the paper kind, not the, the wax that goes on that they use for bikini waxes. So these are the kind, the kind that comes on a strip of paper and they have a wax on the inside. And basically what you do is you take it apart, you make sure that it's nice and warm and you place it in the area that you want to get waxed. So this is how I would do it. If I've got strip wax and I need to, you know, make sure that I'm trimmed and looking good and not too hairy and not looking like the Yeti, then what I do is I'd have the sides of my bikini area wax. So what is the bikini area? If you're wearing a bikini panty, so the one that looks like a triangle, any hair that falls outside of that, that's what you then need to use a strip wax for, right? So the top, a little bit of the top and a little bit of the sides. Then you move over to your armpits. Remember, if you really want it to work well, then use the heat. Make sure it's nice and warm. Sometimes you can take a cup of coffee or a cup of hot water, put the strip wax against the cup, the mug, and then it will come off really nice and warm. Put it on, let it cool just a little, and strip off. Remember to read the instructions. Brands like Veet, like I said, I, I swear by Veet. They've got really nice strip waxes, and there's other brands as well, but those ones are really good. You can use it right here. You can use it on the sides for your bikini area, and it works really, really well, just to get that area nice and tamed. But I will warn you, it does hurt, but it hurts for literally a split second, and for the results, it's worth it. And this brings me to point number five, okay? Hair remover actually works. I'm a Veet girl. I keep saying this over and over again, but I'm a Veet girl. I've used a hair remover for my legs and the shower hair remover works so nice. And they've got these new ranges which are organic, not organic, but natural. And they have a nice scent as well as a sensitive range. So you put it on your legs, it spreads nice. It goes over your legs really nicely. Jump into the shower, you use a little sponge and you just sponge it right off. You just move it right across your legs and the hair just falls off. They've come a very, very long way from the times when hair remover used to smell like something that could burn a hole through cement. That's not what hair remover is anymore. It's sensitive, it works really well. And just as a secret, let me, let me tell you the secret again. Are you listening? Here's my secret. The more you use your hair remover, the less often you have to use it. All right, let me explain. So how this works is that week one, you use it, you put it on your legs, you shower it off, or you use the spatula to take it off and the hair all comes off. The next week, you may need to do it again because the hair is grown back. So at first, it will take you a week to grow back the hair. A little later, it will take you two weeks to grow back the hair. Next thing, you'll only be doing this once a month. And this is the amazing part of it. There is something that they put in there, and this is Veet because this is a brand that I love and I trust, that makes the hair grow back slower, which is absolutely amazing. And for a girl with hair as thick and as hairy as mine, that works really, really well. Super convenient. It doesn't burn. I, I think people have this whole thing that they burn like relaxer. 
it's not like that. <laughs> it's not like that at all. It's super sensitive. It works really well. I've never ever burnt from it and it works so beautifully. Your legs feel so smooth and it actually even smells really great. My sixth and final thing is to moisturize. I know this has absolutely nothing to do with hair. That's what you're thinking, but you're wrong. You need to keep yourself moisturized, all right? Keeping yourself moisturized, there's certain moisturizers. I know that Vita's has had this before and I know that Vaseline has had this before as well. They actually make the hair grow back slower. So if you're a person who likes shaving, if you like using waxes, if you like using hair removals, make sure that your skin is always moisturized. The hydration in your skin is super important because when you wax, when you shave, when you are using hair remover, your skin is going through quite a bit. So you want to make sure that it is always moisturized so that your skin looks good. You don't want to be hairy and you've got ashy skin. That's just not cute. Just the two combination together is just disaster. So make sure that you're moisturized. Look, from one hairy girl to the next, your hair is manageable. The first thing you need to understand is that yes, you may be half werewolf, but you can manage it. I've got hairy arms, I don't shave them all the time unless I have a photo shoot, then all of a sudden I am smooth like a baby's bottom. Even worse, I'm just smoother than a baby's bottom. I don't know what's smoother than a baby's bottom, it's like butter. It's like just silk. My skin becomes silk, no hair to be seen anywhere. But if you know what to use when, using your shavers for your legs and using your strip waxes for your bikini area, trim a little bit, make sure that you use a strip wax here. And if you really need to, you can use your hair removers. Then honey baby girl, your man will never even suspect that you've got hair. He'll ask himself, was she even born with it? So if you want to keep this conversation going and you want a few tips on how to do things, then go to kopanoshimange.com where you can sign up and get access to that exclusive, exclusive.